Listen, I, ha I have an appointment. I'll meet you at the house. Okay, hustle up. Just as I can. What is this all about? What's the matter with you? I'm out all day long looking around for work. Do you ever go out and look for work? Well, sorry, I was Am here. I the only one that's going to do all the work around here? I was working. Uh, I was reading a comic book. Reading a comic book? That don't feed you, my friend. Hey, wait a minute. That don't put food in the icebox. Wait a minute. Ah, don't give me that wait a minute. Stop. Yeah, but I think I heard something I don't know. Why? Did you say you were out all day working? I was out there looking for a job. Did you get it? Yes, I got a job. Well, good I had to get a job. You don't want to work. What are you doing? I got a job in a bakery. Good. What are you doing there? Loafing. That's... <laughs> oh, boy. What are you doing? Loafing. Where? In a bakery. You working? Certainly. Doing what? A loafing. Well, that's what I was doing here. I was just taking these. I was no, 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 no. That kind of loafing. You're just a lazy idiot. Not this here kind here. I was taking it easy, same as I you. I work when I loaf. How can you work and loaf at the same time? Why not? Can they, you do that? That's what they pay me for. They pay you for what? To loaf. How do they pay you for loafing? You're in a baker's store, you got to do I'm something. I'm in a baker, so I'm loafing there. You just go to the work in the baker's store, you don't do a thing. Oh, yes, oh, yes. How much they pay in the baker's store a for loafing? A dollar and a half an hour. For loafing? The union man. I belong to the union. I'm loafing here. I ain't getting nothing for it. Well, you're not supposed to get any money for that kind of loafing. Well, can I loaf there, would you? I should say not. You've got to join a union. i got to join a union of loafers? You can't loaf without uh, belonging to the union. Well, what do you think of that? Well, well, you mean i got to join a union in order to loaf? Well, certainly. I don't say nothing, but I was loafing here without the union. No, loafing. you are loafing here. You can't loaf here. You can't loaf here. you got no dough. i got no dough. That's why I'm loafing, because i got no dough. Oh, no. If you had dough, you could loaf. But then you'd have to get a card and join the union. You mean you, you've got to have dough to loaf? Oh, well, sure. How can you loaf without dough? That's very hard. I've been trying. You can't do it. I mean, you, gotta, you, know, you, can't do, you can't do anything. I can't retire right now. I've got to have a job. Someday come down to the bakery. I'll show you how to loaf. I do real loafing. In fact, you know, I, you, I never told you this. My whole family were loafers. No kidding. Sure. My, my father was a bigger loafer than me. He was? Yeah, he was one of the best loafers in the family. I, I think you're a better loafer than your father. Oh, I know that now, because he taught me how to loaf. You know you're a bigger loafer than your father. Right? Oh, sure, sure. You're sure. a bigger loafer than me, too, aren't you? Well, you're no loafer. I'm not. No, certainly not. But you are. You're just a lazy, no good for nothing, whatever you How call. can I be lazy? You just told me I'm no loafer. You're a loafer, not me. But I get paid for loafing. You don't. That's what I don't understand. Working in a bakery store, I'm getting paid a dollar and a half an hour for loafing. That's right. This, I don't understand that. You don't understand? What is it to understand? I don't understand you working and loafing and getting paid for it. Wait a minute. Can I get a job there doing no. the same? No, I can't get a job there. You have to belong to the union. All you do is talk, 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 and that's all I hear. You don't say nothing, loafing. I don't say anything. No. Look, you go to the union. You get a card. You go to the baker. They give you a dough. You, you need the dough first. I need the dough. And how I need the dough? We need dough to get something nice. I need the dough in order to loaf. I need the dough in order to loaf. But give me some dough and I'll get something to eat in the joint. You can't get any dough. You Poor can't bingo. I don't know what I'm going to do. Him. He's going to look for other parents. Leave me. Wait a minute. I want to ask you just one thing. What? What makes a bloom go up? Hot air. What's holding you down? <laughs> Pull the joke. Oh, just a minute. Get your, get your coat. Go ahead. Get your coat. I'll take you on. I'll get you a job someplace. Uh, wait a minute. I'll say it's so along the bingo. I think he's napping. <laughs> Sleeping like a baby. He is? Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he is. Baby, come on. Who up? I ever get your fat in Africa? How to do? How to do? Oh, we'll have a piece of surprise with me when he finds out I got myself a new job. You know, some of the lovely scorn hats. Selling them, I gotta deliver them. Gotta deliver them over to Lugo Street someplace. Hmm. I think that's a nice one. Ah, 
I beg your pardon. Oh, a beggar, why, certainly. I'm no beggar. I just want to get a little information. What are you, a spy? I'm not a spy. I'm, no spy. I'm just trying to get a little information here. I want to find out where Flugel Street is. Oh, Flugel Street? Yeah. I know where Flugel Street is. You tell me what I you... was born and raised on Flugel Street. My whole family comes from Flugel Street. My brother was born and raised on Flugel Street. My brother is one of the finest boys who ever came from... What? I care about your brother, mister. I'm only asking you how to get to 222 Flugel Street. Say something nasty about my brother. Say something like he shouldn't get out of jail. What are you looking for? Why something? Huh? Why, no. What I care about your brother if he's in jail? Let your brother stay in jail. I don't care about your brother being in Why jail. Why should my brother stay in jail? He never did anything to you. Well, then get your brother out. Get a habeas, habeas, hobus, 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 hobus. Get a lawyer. Get him out. Uh, what do you want on Flugel Street? I want to find out where the Susquehanna Hat Company is. Susquehanna Hat Company? Yeah, I got to deliver these hats. Is that a Susquehanna Hat? Sure. You know what I think of Susquehanna Hats? This is what I think of. Oh. You know who makes these hats? Little girls with little curls. They work from 7 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock at night. They work their poor little fingers to the bone. Paula, Just look at that hat. Look I'm at that hat band. Imitation, imitation leather. Uh, oh! What's the matter? You're trying to poison me, huh? You put a wire in there with poison on it. Who's trying to poison me? You're to get the cigarette And look at that straw. Cheap, second grade straw. You know what I think of that hat? You stay there and have the unmitigated call to make it. Take the hat. Don't even look good on you. <laughs> you still didn't tell me how to get to 222 Flugel Street. Have you a... Hey, I'm back! What's the matter with you? Now you come along. Haven't you delivered those hats yet? That's the first job I get in a long time, delivering the hats to, the, to, the, to Flugel Street. I only asked a guy how to get to 222 Flugel Street, and he starts batting me all over the joint. Look at that, look at the straw hat now. Look at that other hat, Now I can see to everybody. You got more hats, <laughs> I got plenty of hats. I got to get over to this. Don't, don't wear those kinds of hats. Please, please. Around, this yeah. belongs to the, this belongs to the Susquehanna Hat Company. Susquehanna? Yeah, and I got to get them over. Wait a minute. Is that a Susquehanna hat? Oh, sure. That's a good one. Well, wait a minute. You ought to be ashamed of yourself wearing a Susquehanna hat. What's the matter with that? Well, just look at this. Look, it's going to rain. Yeah. Rain right through there, wouldn't it? Well, that's... Will you leave the hats alone? Be not a paper. You don't want to wear those kind of things. Look at this. Look at that. That ain't even straw. Taste that. Well, I... Give me milk. Susquehanna hat. Susquehanna. Susquehanna must have been on a vacation while Hannah made that one. Now deliver your hats and get out of here. You're the guy I was looking for, Abbott. I want you to give me a help. How am I going to get this thing cleaned and blocked now? I mean, how do you do, lady? <laughs> uh, could I show you something, lady? Would what you mind stepping in my office over here, please? What have you got? A couple of guys came along here and looked. They made a wreck out of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put this one on. How's it look? Not much better. <laughs> Could you please tell me how to get to this? I want to get to Flugel Street. Ah! Flugel Street? Why did you say Flugel Street? Because Do you know that my husband died on Flugel Street? Oh, my poor husband. He was so good, so kind. And now he's dead. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You keep yelling like that, your husband. You'll wake him up. He don't even hear you. My darling husband is dead. Killed by six men with guns. Killed by six men with guns? Yes. It's Burglars? No, a firing squad. Oh. oh. Is that one of their hats? Yes. Ah! I wouldn't just steal your purse. And I could have done it made a few extra bucks. Hey, 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 Junior. That's uh, no good either. How does this one look on me? Looks very, very bad. Uh, Does it? Yes. Could you tell me how to get to the Susquehanna Hat Company? Why, certainly. I, the Susquehanna Hat Company? Yeah, yeah. 222 Flugel Street, I got it. Flugel Street? Why, yes. You go right down here about three blocks, and then you turn... You... No, wait a minute. You get down here and turn to your left, and then go about a block and a half. What part of Flugel Street did you want to get to? 222 Flugel... Any part of Flugel Street I want to get! Is that a straw hat? Yes, sir. That yes. comes from the Susquehanna Hat Company. Oh, that's terrible. I'm very alert. Very alert. You're not going to break it, are you? <laughs> ah, shit! I'm sorry, but I'm... You see, I'm allergic to straw. <laughs> you, you... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, excuse me, this one's so bad. I tried so hard to control myself. I can't find any cure for it. All, but every time I even look at a straw, I go... <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, and it makes me so mad, and I get so embarrassed every time I look at straw. Straw! That's what does it! Straw! Straw! I hope I never see that straw again! Not even a straw! I had a straw! 
Hello, Louie. Hello, Louie. Hello, Louie. Hello, Louie. What, what are you doing? What are you crying for, Louie? I have a lot of people. I'm, I'm asking them how to get to Flugel Street to Social Square and the Hat me. Everybody's breaking up all my store hats. Hey, hey Louie, yeah, I, I was watching. You were playing. You were having fun. And, and you don't play with me no more. I was watching you from across. What do you have to for me? You, you was playing with everybody. I wasn't playing with the people. Hey, you I, don't ask me to play no more. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. I'm, I'm going to cook uh, I'll harm you. I'm going to cook it. Now, what I'm telling you is a lot of people come over here and I ask them how to get the Susquehanna hat company because I got the hats. No, no, you did not. You did not. You give anybody hats to play I with. I the hats out. You, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> you, 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 you don't play with me no more. And, and I, I'm going to get mad. You want to throw a hat to play with? Yeah, because you, you gave it to everybody else but uh, me. Shut up. I'll give it. Ah. Ooh. You, you're not so hard. Well, you, come on, give me a hat to play. I'm gonna give you a hat. Could you give it to anybody else? <laughs> Here. Oh, God. <laughs> no, please. You've ruined every hat in that box. Every hat. Those hats cost money, don't you know that? I didn't know that Flugel Street was a dangerous street. Ah, uh, don't even... I didn't know that that, that Susquehanna was dangerous. Don't mention the names anymore. Every hat I got in here is broke. Well, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do about the money. You'll have to pay for them, Lou. We've got to find you another job. That's all I'm doing. I'm always looking for a new job. Well, I'm always doing my best for I you. I can't hold a job long enough to know right, what well, I'm we'll doing. Find, we'll find a job that you can really hold. Come on. You're going to help me? Yes, come on. He's going to help me. Hey, Louie, Louie, wh hello, Louie, where are you going? Look, Stinky, I got no time to talk to you, I'm busy now. Oh, but Louie, Louie, I, you're, you're mean, you, you don't, you don't want to play with me no more, you, you don't like me anymore. Stinky, I like you more than anything, but work comes first. But, but Louie, uh, all I wanted to do is whisper something in your ear. You want to whisper something? Yeah, it's a big secret. A big secret? Yeah. Well, not here, Louie, I don't want nobody to hear me in the house. Nobody's but around. Come over here, back up a little bit, see? Like, a little more, Louie. Hey, tell me what it is. Wait now, Louie, don't rush me. Well, tell me what the secret is. A little farther back. That's better, Louie, that's better. Now, now, go ahead, tell me. Well, don't rush me. Now, close your eyes, see? Close your eyes, and then I'll... I'll oh, come in this ear. Come in this ear. What is he buttoning in for? <laughs> what is he buttoning in for? Yeah, come on, I'll tell you the secret now. Go ahead, I'll cl close your eyes. Come in that ear there. Listen, is that your ambition in life, just to pick on Stinky? No. Have you no future? I was on my way to get a job. Do you have, oh, get a job? Where are you going to get a job? How do you know how to get it? Do you know how to get a job? Well, I had the first thing in hand. I was yeah, on my I way. The, I'll tell you how. I've got an idea. What? The first well-dressed man that comes along here, you go up and talk to him in a nice manner. Yeah. Now, a well-dressed man, he must have a job. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to dress nice. So he must have a job and find out if there's a job where he works for you. Oh, that's the first guy that comes along. The first guy, well, wait, look at that. He comes a well-dressed man. Now, he must have a job. I'll ask this pigeon. Yeah, go ahead. Just a minute, sir. You happen to be a well-dressed man, and there's a little information I'd like to have from you. You see, sir, my friend Mr. Bud Abbott here wants me to get a job. Now, he told me to stop the first man that is so well-dressed that he would probably have a job, and you would tell me where to get one. Now, you see, my friend, I'm capable, I'm young, and I want to work hard. I'm a young boy that wants to go out and make a head and get a head. Now, if you could tell me, sir, where you're working, maybe they have an opening there for a young boy like me. I don't care if it's even delivering things. I'll deliver, I'll do anything at all. Very dependable. Very, oh, yeah, very, 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 dependable. very dependable. I'm truthful and I'm honest. Boy Scout, never tell a lie, and I help a lot of people every day. Now, could you please tell me where you, where you work so you could tell me, sir, and I could go right down there right away and get a job? I'm just on the way to get a new battery for my hearing aid. <laughs> radio was broken. Why do you pick those kind of guys out? Oh, what do I know? I don't know from the guy can he is. Millions are well-dressed That's men. a wonderful speech. I let go for nothing. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, you see that man in front of that store down there? Now, there's a well-dressed man. Now, there's a man must have a job. Come on. Now, put the dog on. Same uh -huh. thing. Come on. Uh, 
Hiya, mister. Hi. You look like a guy that's pretty well healed. You must have a pretty good job, I take it. Yeah, I got a job, but it's no good. No good, eh? I got a mean, nasty foreman. He takes advantage of me. I don't even get a bonus at Christmas time. Now I ask you, do you call that a good job? If you had a job like that, would you keep it? All right, honey, I'm through shopping. Okay, darling, I'll be with you in a minute. You know, I'm glad you asked me that because that's no kind of a job to have. Why should you let that foreman push you around? Why don't you quit? That's all right. So you're the little one that's been making my husband quit his job. Tom will take right. this. Uh, you see what your ideas do? Now, wait a minute. Don't. What are you going to ask me, Miss? What are you... Now, don't get discouraged. Oh, sometimes I ought to take this... And I ought to haul off and give you the dirtiest look you ever had. Well, look, don't get discouraged. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going down to the Fields Employment Agency, and we'll apply for a job. Do you know those employment agencies are very, very peculiar people? When you walk in there, you've got to be entirely different than anybody else. Now, go in as though you didn't need a job. You know what I mean? Give them the impression that you're wealthy. You've got plenty of money. They'll be begging you to take a job. Don't, uh, don't just walk in and say, Mr., can I have a job? Be independent. You don't want a job. Do everything just the opposite to the one I'm looking for it. I'll walk in and I'll speak my piece. Uh, just do as I do. I'll show that guy that I like I don't need a job. That's it. But I need a job. Well, don't tell him that. In other words, I'll, I'll put on the stuff. Put on the stuff as though we don't like this place or anything else connected with him. Like it don't matter. That is it. Now, come on, you got the idea? Mr. Whitcup, I've got just the job for you, sir. Oh, that's good. You'll <laughs> like this job. It pays uh, very, very well. It's for one night only, of course. Oh, yes, sir. The salary is $50, sir. Fifty dollars? That's right. You're a special doorman at a very ritzy hotel for the embassy reception. Do you like that? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Sounds exciting, doesn't uh, it? Yes, sir. Now, let me see. Fifty dollars is a salary for one night, excepting that there's a few, uh, a few little deductions. You know what I mean? <clears throat> for instance, there's withholding tax of twelve dollars. Then there's the Social Security tax, two fifty. There's a federal old age insurance, one fifty. There's a state unemployment, two dollars. There's a union dues of five dollars and fifty cents, and twenty-one fifty for your uniform. And of course, that makes fifty-three dollars even. So, salary is $50. Mr. Whitcup, you owe me $3. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gee, $50 a night. This is the best job I ever had. Thank you very much. Now, here you are, sir. The address is right, pardon me, the address is right on this card, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, well, we're doing very well. We're doing very well. We're doing very well. Oh. Yeah? Fields Employment Agency. Oh, yes. George Brooks, I remember you, sir. Well, of course, Mr. Brooks, I've got just the job that you want. Yes, yes, we spoke about it. Let me see. I can't find... Oh, here it is. Now, listen to this job, Mr. Brooks. Wanted smart young man in a simulated molecular energy plant to work on nuclear fission project utilizing abstract uranium formula. No experience necessary. That's right. You'll take it? Good. Here's the address. Los Angeles Hot Tamale Factory. That's right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, take a look for yourself. Get a load of this office. Mr. Abbott, I am sorry to tell you, but I think you're right. This is the crummiest looking office I've ever seen for unemployment. <laughs> look, there's the man. Mr. Fields, unemployment agency. There's the man that gets you the work. What a joint. What I have he... been around in my time, but never have I seen an off Abbott. What? Get these rugs. We'll get a lot of them. <laughs> must have got them from the Salvation Army. But well, naturally, they threw they stuff away. Them. He didn't buy them, they must have gave them. Nothing. And this Look is the guy that does it. Dirt and filth in this office. Look at here. Look at this. Look at the way he keeps his smile. Look at this. Now, if we don't hear the writing, can you imagine? Not even a oh, secretary. There's stuff over here. I have never seen anything like it in my life. I have seen get these old fashioned telephones. Get a lot of this. I beg your pardon, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, <laughs> Would you like me to give you a job? Ah, who wants a job? We're in the pen. Hey, what do you call this here? Look, nothing in it. What do you call it? It's a box. It's a file, ain't it? It's some kind of a I'm file. I'm going to file it. <laughs> hey. Mr. Fields, I have been in some wonderful hey, joints, but this ain't it. Get a load of this. <laughs> hey, get the push on that. Get a load of that. That looks like something I bet on in the fourth race at San Anita. <laughs> And he was... Excuse me, Abbott. Get work for people. What do you call a thing like this? Now, that's supposed to be a hall tree. Boop, boop, boop. Nah, 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 nah. No, that's a hall tree. This baby. is a hall tree, That's yeah. a hall tree. Well, he picked out a fine place to plant it. Hey, did With all this dirt no. and filth in here, it, here. it has to take root. Yeah, look, you hit Mr. Fields. Don't even empty. Unemployment agents. <laughs> Hell, I will. I never... Excuse me. What a joint if I ever saw one. I've never seen anything like that. Don't do it. Get it out just put it down, put it down. Lucky we don't need Close it. up this joint. We're going to get the Board of Health over here. Ow! It's all right. I have 
seen a lot of places, Mr. Never Rabbit. Like but this. you told me about Mr. Fields' employment agency. You are right. That's all. Get a load of this drunken fight furniture. Drunken fight <laughs> Get the test. He must have got all this stuff from the Len Lisa something. Yes, God. Take it easy, kid. As long as you got money in your pocket, you can be independent. What job do we need on need no job? No job. <laughs> well? Yes, sir. Are you all through? I don't know. Just a minute. Am I all through, Abbott? I uh, think you are. <laughs> have you got anything else to say? Uh, I don't think he has. I don't think I have. No. Well? Take off your hat and get those feet off my desk. Now, just a minute. Now, Abbott told me... Get those feet off my desk! He told me... Shut up! Don't interrupt. You've had your say, now you listen to me. You came into this office like a wild man. You criticized my business and the way I run my business. You knocked my furniture. You insulted my wife. My wife, do you realize that's the woman I married? That's the woman I love. The day I married her, she ran third and... You see, now you've got me insulting my own wife. Don't you know that a gentleman never insults anybody? The first essential of politeness is consideration of the feelings of others. Graciousness without condescension, that's the attribute devoutly to be wished. You don't have it. Now listen to me. The next time you come into a man's place of business, always knock before you enter. And when you do come in, take off your hat. Take it off! And when you speak to a man, address him as sir. Sir! S-I-R, sir! Another thing. Politeness costs you nothing. If you can't say anything nice about the way a man runs his business, don't say anything at all! Now I want you two hoodlums to get out of my office. And don't you dare to come back until you've learned to act like gentlemen! Yes. Get out! <laughs> Hello? Get me Crestview 6,000. Hello, John Collins, janitor service? I want you to send a janitress here to the Fields Employment Agency. Yes, same office. Thank you. Herman. Yes? Come in. May we? Please do. Thank you. Mr. Rabbit, come in. My, what a nice office. Lovely. Mr. Rabbit, do you see how everything is so tidy in this office? Just as an office should be. Now, this is the kind of man I really want to work for, because if you work for a man like this, you know you're going to get a nice, clean job. And a good job. Oh, look at that rug on that floor. That must have cost you a lot of money. Well, Mr. Fields himself, look at the intelligence written all over his face now. He... Oh, isn't it the truth? Marvelous. Oh, this is real Duncan Fife furniture. No, this is the real... And I like the way he has the interior decorator comes in and lays it out on the floor like this. This Marvelous. is an odd way of decorating an office. Yes, marvelous. Mr. Fields, it is a pleasure to come here and get a job from you. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a minute. Oh, yes. Don't oh, me. look at Isn't this she picture. Gorgeous. Isn't she beautiful? That must be your wife. This would have been the girl of my dreams yes. had it not been your wife. If well, it is your wife, isn't That's it? life, that's Mr. life. She must have been an inspiration to Boy. you. Say no more. Let me shake you by the hand. Oh, it's quite all right. Uh, Both of you. I want you to know that in this day and age, it's a pleasure to see boys who can take advice and benefit by it. You know, it takes courage, real intestinal fortitude, to be able to admit openly when you're wrong. Boys, tell me, what can I do for you? You can drop dead. We got a job across the hall. <laughs> You know that man in that employment agency, 
He should have taught you a good lesson. He did. Well, you don't even know what it is. But I do. And from now on, I'm getting sick and tired of being addressed as Abbott and Costello, Abbott and Costello, everything Abbott and Costello. From now on, I want us to be addressed as Messrs. Abbott and Costello. Remember that. Messrs. Abbott and Costello. That's the way you want it? Let that sink in. That's the way you want it? That's the way I want it. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard what Mr. Abbott said. From now on, we're a mess of Abbott and Costello. <laughs> Abbott's a mess. I, I mean, Costello's a mess. I, the whole thing is a mess. I don't understand your idea.